So this is our first time ever doing a module. Um, I think it should be good fun. This is a very heavy exploration, kind of learning things as you go. There's a bit of mystery, a lot of brawling, a lot of good roleplay opportunities. Um, there will be opportunities for backstory stuff if these guys actually write a backstory. Right now, there is no backstory for them. Um, but... They at least have their classes, and they at least made their characters. So Josh is a cleric. Life cleric, in fact, because you have to pick a level one. Yep, and, and then, so I decided to go in full heal bot. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Matt is a wizard, doesn't have to pick his subclass yet. Same with Alex is a ranger, and Brian is a paladin. So there's a good bit of um, a mixture. I feel like my... My race is almost more important than my class at this point. At level one. Mm hmm Because paladins I mean, at level one, they swing a sword. Yeah. You're, you're fairly indistinguishable from a fighter right now. Mm hmm Oh, yeah. For sure. I get the same thing. I get more with my shifting abilities than I do with my... Uh, ranger? Class right now. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, we've got a shifter ranger. Clerics I'm are a little different. Like Kalashitar. Good level one characters. Yeah. Hey, what's up, everybody's name? What's up with what? Uh, Mine's Theodore. Theodore. I'm Carmen. San Diego? Nope. Burrow found. Mm -hmm. I didn't think about the fact that, like, it's K A R M I N, and so it's different enough that it never occurred to me that Carmen sounds like Carmen. Mm -hmm. But that's fun. <laughs> I literally said it right after you told me the name. <laughs> Yeah, I still did. And then I was like, oh, I'll change it. And then I didn't change it, I think. <laughs> Josh, you're Carmen. <laughs> yep. And Brian, what did you say what yours was? My name is Jacquard, which is actually a breakdown of Jack, which is my human um, person. And then Cod is the quarry dream spirit that lives inside my entire family. That's infested his family line. Mm -hmm. And I think it's the same spirit that goes, like, it yep. passes down, correct? Yep. Yeah. It's like it, an STD. My entire family. Um, it's like a what, Josh? To the same spirits. <laughs> it's, it's like an STD. You, you pass those down to, to your kids, I'm, Josh? I'm gonna go Is that what's going on? You pass your STDs onto your kids? <laughs> I mean, you can actually if you have the wrong ones. Your kids can pop out. I was, I was, I was going worse than you're going. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're bad man! <laughs> wow, that was good. I no, bad, bad, bad. Before we get into it, before we start, I'm going to <laughs> go over the player handout a little bit. Just hey, if I change my name now, does it fuck everything up? If I decide not to be Carmen? No, you're Carmen. <laughs> uh, really. Okay. <clears throat> I literally told you right after you posted the name, and you're like, fuck you, man. And then I was like, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't know who my deal was. <laughs> and so now you're Carmen with the K. Okay, I'm Carmen. That's going to be there fun for my character. Well, no it one's going to make a, fun of you. It could be a running gag. Everyone could talk about it. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm so grumpy and hateful, is because everybody calls me Carmen. You're like, like the dwarf hey, names do. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, the dwarf name too. Yeah, <laughs> that's great. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and get into this. Let me pull out the player handout for everyone. Now you guys have already seen this because we did a session zero. But for our chat, can I make this pop up? Did it pop up? Yep. In chat or in roll twenty. In Roll20, it in is roll 20. under, um, let's see, the second one, journal. journal. Yeah. yeah. But can they see our Roll20? Oh, I guess they yes, can. Yes, they can see Roll20. I just they have to make it work. Ryan's Roll20. Yeah. Oh. So for Storm King's Thunder, I don't know if everyone can read this handout, but I'll go over some of the things we talked about in the session zero. I won't do the intro. There are a few homebrew rules I'm doing. Each player got to start with a level one feat. Um, 
I don't even know if I know all your guys' feats. I think Josh, your cleric, took heavy armor master, as mm-hmm. well as the ranger took medium armor master. Correct, Alex? Yep. Brian, what'd you take? Jacquard is an athlete. Athlete. And I don't know what that really does for you. Um, Turns yeah, into a Chad. Plus one to dex. Plus one to strength. Um, um, and my movement speed to get up if I get knocked over, it's only, only cost feet. five instead of half. Um, and no climbing speed. I climb at the same speed as I walk. Okay. Those are the things. And then uh, Matt, for a wizard, what'd you take? Uh, resiliency to dexterity. Resilience to dex. That's a good one for you. Yeah. Gives you that dex save, plus it gives you the extra plus in dex. So hopefully I can dodge everything because I have eight hit points. <laughs> You're going to get yeah. smoked, bro. I'm going to be your best friend. Yeah. Yeah, he'll just bring you back up. Um, He could probably like heal you to full. Uh, how much hit points do you have? Eight. Uh, with healing yeah, word. <laughs> if, I, if I roll a one with healing word, then you end up at seven. So it's perfect. Yeah. yeah. He is your best friend. So that's the first homebrew rule. The second homebrew rule is less of an actual mechanical rule, more of a kind of flair where in this campaign, I want to get past the idea of hit points being meat points. When someone hits you with an attack, it doesn't always mean they cut you every time because when you get to higher levels 12 13 14 taking like 30 sword hits it just doesn't seem logical or realistic it's more that you're using um a combination of skill luck magical abilities resolve things like that and sometimes you also do take cuts depending on how well they hit you But if I describe that you get hit and you take damage, but you're not actually taking, like, wounds, it's just something to think past. Um, Okay. Well, we'll get used to it, I think. Or we'll try it out, at least. And the third and most important rule I changed is the short rest, long rest rules. Short rests are going to be overnight, eight hours. And long rests are going to be five days. The long rest duration can be reduced. And that's going to be dependent on your living accommodations. And that's not just where you rest your head at night. That's kind of throughout the day too. So in squalid of poor accommodations, I think there's even one worse than that, which is wretched. It's still five days. If you're living a modest or comfortable lifestyle... It's four days, wealthy is three, and aristocratic is two. So in an, in this kind of setting, if you were living as an aristocratic uh, lifestyle for a long rest, you would think of someone's attending to every need. Someone's doing all the things that you don't want to do, making your life easier so you can just rest. Doesn't mean you can't do things. It doesn't mean you can't da- have downtime. If you're a blacksmith, you could be crafting things in that downtime. As long as it's things that aren't adventuring, aren't out, you know, exploring the world and fighting. Camping is considered squalid and poor at the moment. Um, I know, Alex, I talked to you a little about that as a ranger. And maybe there will be times we can work something out. Or maybe even you can set up some really um, nice campsites that would up its... (laughs) Yeah. Squirrel pelt bed. Like those guys (laughs) on YouTube that, like, dig out an underground home and... I make a, uh, <coughs> under the moon door. Yeah. And then I offered you all an opportunity to join a faction. And two of you did decide to be in the Order of the Gauntlet. That would be the Cleric and the Paladin, of course. Bash Brothers. Mm-hmm. Right. Protect Brothers. More like, the, yeah, the Shield Brothers. Right. Yeah. So those are all the... Um, Rules I want to go over. I guess one more I gave the ranger. He's able to change his favorite terrain on a long rest. That's the only change I've made to the classes. For all the audience out there, if you guys want to spend your bacon to give the guys inspiration, you can do that. I think it costs $13.50. 
And no begging for inspiration, Matt. <laughs> Can't stop me, free country. For now. Dude. <laughs> I was thinking, though, if you guys want to use your inspiration for clues, you could do that, too. Like, say you're trying to figure things out. Um, maybe you have an inspiring moment. Instead of getting an advantage on a roll, maybe you use it to figure out a plot point or figure something out that's currently happening um a current event where you're at the environment you're in i mean we'll see well i'm offering that to you now so if you they want to, to use that, to do it yeah yeah unless you actually are inspired in game and do it yourself <laughs> and starting us off jacquard you get an inspiration yes nice. a spirit Way to go, Jacquard. Thank you, Illbeard. Oh, and Theodore Illbeard gets an knows. inspiration. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, God. It's just the people that said what races we are. Just saying. Uh, human. human. I'm a human. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my human. God. <laughs> and that's really all the intro I wanted to do. I didn't want to do too much about your character intros everyone can see your pictures and what you look like and your actions should speak for themselves of how you are to the people around give me one second and we will get started oh and carmen you get an inspiration oh yay <laughs> uh, it's gonna be so much fun now it's too much uh, this uh, sucks <laughs> <laughs> Everybody but Matt. That's horrible. All right, everyone starts with an inspiration. I was gonna say, it's oh, yeah. my inspiration. It's been this doom bitch. Yeah, there we go. Thank you, whoever. It'll be me. <laughs> and thank you, Give D and D, for your uh, subscription. I think that's oh, two nice. now. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, nice. You can all come join us on Discord. Um, anyone that subscribes or joins our Patreon, I'll make you a club member on Discord. It just gives you a a fancy color, I guess. But thank you for your subscription. Absolutely. And we begin. <laughs> <laughs>